them back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We are back once again with Core Set 2020. We're going back. We're going back to a year that was amazing, right? Pretty sweet, pretty amazing year. We're going back. All right, we're going back to Core Set 2020 where a ton of the value sits in the uncommon slot. We've got Veil of Summer sitting in here, and we hope to snag a number of these. Now, this is a sponsored box. It's for our patron, Jim. Jim's got another box with us, and he's hunting for some value out of here. So good luck, and thank you to Jim. Here we go. Elvish Reclaimer. Not a bad start. Good solid rare, and a wolf token in the back. So yeah, um, top end... Field of the Dead is way up there again. Um, that's really gone back up in price. Um, Handful of the Mythics are pretty good, and Veil of Summer is where you find your value. So let's see how we do. Scuttle Mutt and Chandra, Acolyte of Flame. Another just rock solid card out of here. Gotta take it. Well, how's everyone doing today? As always, hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. And if for some reason you're not, I hope it gets a little bit better. Vine and Golos. Nice. Tireless Pilgrim. Nice hit. The Feral Invocation. Yeah, the uh, Foil Veil of Summer out of here too is also, no surprise, super expensive. That's probably, strangely, the most uh, coveted hit that you can get out of this. So we'll be on the lookout. Oh, hoo -hoo. There's a Veil of Summer. That'll go in our special Veil of Summer pile up top. Put it right up there. Flame Sweep. Dragon Mage into the Voracious Hydra. Another just sweet set. I really liked Corset 2020. I thought a lot of the Mythics were pretty good. The Uncommons were obviously insane. And uh, I don't know. I just really enjoyed the set. I thought it was good. Oh, <laughs> how about another Veil of Summer? Jim, Aether Gust, another great uncommon. And the Temple of Melody. Not with the Chandra token. We'll put that in there as well. Yeah, I think the most I've hit in one of these boxes, I think I hit five Veil of Summers, which is pretty insane. I don't know if we'll uh, pull that off again, but I'd love to try. Tombaugh Lich and the Agent of Treachery. Another rock solid card. We're doing very well. I have not price checked a lot of these um, too recently. Like I said, I know Veil vale of Summer and Agent of Treachery, I think, is up there still. And um, Field of the Dead, the ones that we're really looking for here. Shared Summons, just a nice little budget tutor card for green. The Wolf Token. We're closing the gap as we move through January here as we get closer to the um, pre-release in Kaldheim coming up here as well. And Leyline of the Void. And a foil murder. Yeah, I am looking forward to Kaldheim. Seems like it should be a pretty fun set. A lot of cool stuff in it. And all the future sets that are coming this year seem really sweet. Cavalier of Dawn, our first mythic. Really awesome, the Cavaliers, and they are not legendary. I guess kind of a pro and con if you want it to be your commander. Unfortunately, not going to happen, but if you want to play it as a four of in Historic or Pioneer or any of those sets, that is always an option. Blood for Bones, good card. Noxious Grasp and Bag of Holding, a D&D &D special card. The Demon Token in the back. Yeah, and they should have a, what, D&D &D set coming and kind of a, I don't know, I call it the Harry Potter set coming. You'll have to check me for the names, I can't think offhand. Chandra's Regulator and the Iron Root Warlord. I feel like it starts with an S for some reason, but the, the name is failing me right now for the, like, wizarding set. And Mystic Forge, another really good rare. That one's definitely gotten some play in uh, older formats, and even in Commander, it's pretty solid. 
just a great value card. Come on, another Veil of Summer. Planner Cleansing, wipe the board. Wipe it all out of there. Wipe it out of existence. All right. That's a sweet card. Got to throw that in there. The hammer. And Luxit in the Life Chanter. With a foil Lavakin Brawler. As we meander through the packs here. Still plenty of room for more Mythics. We're a little light on the Mythics so far. And Scheming Symmetry. Man, another awesome rare. Oh, and another... Chandra Awakened Inferno token. Those are actually uh, kind of useful. I don't know if they have any monetary value, but they're definitely useful. It's the type of token you will be throwing out there if you are playing that card. Rule of Law and the Night Pack Ambusher. Just a vicious card out of Core 2020. When Simic Flash was a thing. I know it was savage to play, but I loved playing it and uh, hate playing it against it. Season of Growth. Oh, and a solid mythic. Soren Imperious Bloodlord. Very nice card. That one's really, I think, retained its value and deserves to be. It's uh, just a rock solid card. Come on. More Veil of Summer. Colossal Hammer once again. Take that. About Decree and Repeated Reverberation. The zombie token in the back. Corpse Knight into Icon of Ancestry. A tribal dex friend. Alright, Mr. Jim. Remember when this card was a regular play in Mono Red? Very good card. Just because it's a common doesn't mean it's not good. And the Steel Overseer. Pump up your artifacts. All right, let's get let's get an Omnath. Omnath is always fun. The unbanned Omnath. No, Dracuseth Maw of Flames. That was a very fun card to cheat into play with uh, Blood for Bones, among other cards. Sneaking that out there. I think there's one from uh, War of the Spark that I would use with haste to get that into play. And Embodiment of Agonies with a foil Zephyr Charge. And an Elemental Token in the back. Still looking for some more Mythics, some more Veils of Summer. Uh, we'll take Field of the Dead. Just a rare. Not even getting greedy with it. And the Glintorn Buccaneer. Awesome card and a combo piece. If you get the right conditions going. There's actually a janky combo you could do in, uh, in a previous standard iteration at one point. Hot Distortion, Ember Hauler, and the Temple. And a wolf token. And Tails End. Great uh, counter spell card. Really versatile. Counter an activated ability, triggered ability, or legendary spell, which uh, usually encompasses a pretty large number of things. That's one you can throw in most any deck. There we go, we got Kethis, the Hidden Hand, and a foil back here as well. Ooh, the Glaring Aegis, with an Evolving Wilds, and a cool little emblem token up top. Okay, let's see if we can find more Veil of Summers. We hit them early, and they've cooled off. Let's find some more. Season of Growth, that's a good one. And Drawn from Dreams. If that was an instant, it would probably get played a little bit more. But sorcery speed definitely hurts it. The Denizen. Come on, Veil of Summer. Scuttle Mutt and the Temple of Epiphany. You are going for 
Temple Tron. Ooh, and a foil rare, the Night Pack Ambusher. Beautiful card. Beautiful. Come on, Jim. More Veils of Summer. Oh, <laughs> Temple of Triumph. You really are going for it all. You aren't messing around. Nothing but temples for you. You got your early Veils of Summer. That's how it works. Come on, another veil. Come on. Risen Reef, Mask of Immolation, and Leyline of Sanctity. You have Hexproof. Getting down there. Last six packs, maybe? So thank you once again to Jim for hooking it up here. And the Marauding Raptor. Soldier Token. I want one more Veil of Summer and sprinkle in a Field of the Dead. Why not? Let Distortion into Knight of the Heaven Legion. Still love this card. It's a taper after rotation, but still a very good card. Very powerful. Especially for just one mana. Flood of Tears and a Foil. Rabid Bite. There's three packs left. Leyline of Anticipation. Another great Leyline. And a Tracker. And just two packs left. These are peeling away nicely. Come on, baby. And the Bishop of Wings. With a wolf. And your final pack. Good luck to you here in the close. Come on. Where's that foil? Veil of Summer. The elusive foil Veil of Summer. Chandra. Fencing. And there we go. Another mythic in the close. Cavalier of Thorns. One that I think will uh, probably age nicely. Anything that you can get lands into play. Beautiful. Well, nice finish there for you, Jim. Hopefully you enjoyed that box. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Special thank you to Jim for hooking us up with this box. Thank you to all of our patrons and all of you out there who have been supporting us over the years. This has been Patrick with Booster Therapy. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.